day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. Hey, everybody. I hope you're going to enjoy this video. This is a video we did with the second session with our, my buddy uh, Al Jones. And we, we just getting into the word and understanding what God means when, when he says that we don't need to murmur and complaining. We need to sit there and, and focus and look for him for the answers and the trust in him. And because he's the one that's going to fight our battles. He's the one that's going to deliver us. If we, if just like the children of Israel, we can sit there and say, what I don't have, opposed to saying, Lord, give us the water. Give us the bread. Give us the meat. Give us things to eat. Father, just, just do what you need to do and have your way. But we're going to trust in you to take us all the way. And then we don't want to be the same way where we come into the promised land and we come into the fronts of the wilderness and the promised land of salvation. And then we see that there's giants in the land. As we move from one place to the next, we move from glory to glory. We need to understand there and say, yes, there's giants in the land, but the giants are not stronger than God. They may be stronger than you, but they're not stronger than God. And that's what we have to look at. So we studied this word today. This is uh, uh, the second session of our Bible study on the 24th of May. And we talked about the fact is, we don't need to be murmuring and complaining. We need to be sitting there saying, Lord, deliver me from the challenges that are set before me. Help me to fight the battle. Let me not go alone. I like Moses to say, Lord, if you ain't going, I ain't going. And that's the same thing we need to move into our life. We want God with us. And if you, if, if the, some of us are comfortable doing it on your own, do it. I guarantee you, we all know our own limitations. Every last one of us know our own limitations. And when we come to our limitations, and we find the wall, we find the giant that we're confronting, and we have no God, then we have no hope. And we have to turn around because we can't go further. But with God, going with us, going before us, got our back, then we can do all things through Christ. And what His will for our life and what matters. In every test we take, count it all joy, because he said he's not going to give you a test if you can't endure. He's not going to give you a test you can't pass. Yeah, there's going to be some things that you don't get, but I guarantee you, blessings come from the Lord, and they are not something that is going to hurt us. Some things we ask for, we may not want. But some things that we need some things that he wants to give us, we need to just make sure it's his will. Let his will be done. I thank you, and I hope you stay safe, and I hope you enjoy the video, and God bless you. Stay safe. Pray for our country. Pray for our leaders. Pray for the leaders of this world. Pray for the people of this world. Pray to get rid of this COVID-19 and trust in God, and he will bring us through. I thank you, and I enjoy fellowshipping with you. And we'll see you again. Amen. God bless. And see you later. Bye-bye. Amen. All right, let's pray. Father, thank you, Lord, for the opportunity for fellowship. I thank you, Lord, that this has given us some insight of your word and understanding. We pray, Heavenly Father, to teach us how to be move forward instead of backwards. Allow us to be free from a bondage and receive the abundant life of Christ. I ask Heavenly Father, protect us between now and next time we meet. Father, protect us, deliver us, let us dwell in the secret yeah. place so that we don't have this virus come in our life or in our family lives. We pray every father for our wives and our children. We pray for our friends and our loved ones. We pray for our country. We pray for the leadership of this country. We ask every father all of them be led by the Lord. We thank you for all you're doing in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Jesus' amen. name. Uh, and I thought that was a blessing. I just hit the record button. Um, and we're gonna go ahead and, and, and start the study. Like I said, I'm giving you a foundation, since this is recording now. <laughs> right. Uh, is, like we said, is, is my murmuring complaining messing up my blessing? 
And we talked about it this morning, and I want to be able to share some with you and hear what you have to say. And, and feel free anytime as we read the scriptures and you want to, you know, uh, reflect on it. Because I'm asking the Holy Spirit to use you. All right? Because he may give, he can give you a word to me. And, and I hope we can give a word to each other as we grow right. in the things of God. So I'm going to start off with the uh, scriptures that we used last week. And let me share it. And if you don't mind, do you, you want to re read them or you want me to read them? You can read them. You can read them. Okay. I know. I agree. One of the guys <laughs> said, man, don't you, why don't you send the slides out early enough so I can preview them, then I can read them. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So this, this is the one, this is slide one. Like you said, you see the uh, subject of the slide is knowing him means cease from murmuring and complaining against him. But we know we got issues in life. We know we got challenges in life, but we got to make sure it's not God that we're complaining to about what we're dealing with. Uh, our right. next one is Exodus, is some different verses here. This is Exodus 16, seven. And in the morning, then you shall see the glory of the Lord for that he, here is, look at that pal, murmuring against the Lord. And this is Moses talking to them. And what are we? And that's what Moses and Aaron said. What are we? You complain against us. But the bottom line is that you murmured against us. But God is saying you're murmuring against him. Right. Right. Verse 16, 8. And Moses said, this shall be when the Lord shall give you in the evening flesh to eat and in morning bread to the full. For the Lord hears your murmuring, which you murmur. You see what it's saying? Right. Against him. And Moses once again said, and what are we? You know, I can't give you no food. I can't give you no water. I can't give you no bread. Why right. are you murmuring against us? Your murmurs are not against us. Amen. Right. <laughs> but against the Lord. Now, Numbers 14, 27. How long would I bear with this evil congregation which murmurs against me? I've heard the murmuring of the children of Israel which they murmur against me. Right. Now, I can, I bet you, and also one of the scriptures we're talking there too is that all these Old Testament scriptures are written as an example for us right because the children of israel really is no different from any of us right and most people don't know that they think that well you know if i was there yeah you're morning you're morning what you call it morning morning monday morning quarterback and you feel you got you would have had all your act together but most cases we won't here's numbers 14 6 36 and the man which moses sent to search the land who returned and made all the congregation to murmur against him by bringing up a slander upon the land. Number 1611. Right. Which calls both thou and all the companies are gathered together against the Lord. And what is Aaron that you murmur against him? You see in a pattern here? Right. It looked, it looked like we're murmuring against to continue somebody. To complain. <laughs> exactly. But you also notice that Moses and were quickly saying, "Why are you murmuring against us?" Right? Because what are we? We can't. Right. Answer, we, can't, we can't give you the answers. God can. And and that's what it said. You're murmuring against Him. Number seventeen five. And it shall come to pass that the man's rod, whom I shall choose, shall blossom. And I will make to cease from me the murmuring of the children of Israel, whereby you murmur against, whereby they murmur against you. The other word, you remember, that's the one with the uh, the rod, and which rod will, be, will, will uh, bud. If you remember that story, there was a, he, he, he trying to say, okay, they were saying, is God listened to all of us? Right. And so he, he, he got a rod out. Uh, they're supposed to bud. It was already cut. It should, in other words, couldn't give light. 
if it's right. uh, dead. So everybody put their rod in, or at least the people who wanted to say there was leaders put their rod in, and Aaron put his rod in, and the rod that bought that blossom, blossom was the one that said, This is the one with God. Okay. And this is what happened here. God was trying to cease their murmuring by showing that God can take something dead and bring life out of it. Right. All right. Now, John 6 43 said, Jesus therefore answered and said to them, Murmur not among yourself. Now, that's the other part about it. We, we got to watch out what we say. <laughs> Because God right. is hearing it. All right. Ten. Ten. Neither murmur ye as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of this destroyer. That what Jesus was talking to their people. Said, don't, don't murmur because you're going to be just like the people in Israel or the children of old time, Old Testament time. Uh, and they were right. destroyed by the destroyer. All right. Now, this one, I'm going to go real quick. This one is the uh, Pool of Salaam on the Sabbath day. This is the one I was telling you about where it says in John 5, verse 1. After this, there was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. And then there at Jerusalem by the sheep market, a pool, which is called in the Hebrew's tongue, Bethesda, having five porches. And in these lay a great multitude of impotent folks, a blind, halt, withered, waiting for the moving of the water. For the angel went down at a certain season into the pool and troubled the water. Whosoever then first after the troubling of the water stepped in was made whole or whatever disease he had. And a certain man was there, which had infirmity. Look how long he had now. 38 years. Right. When Jesus saw him lie, he knew that he had been now a long time in that case. And he said unto him, Will thou be made whole, Al? Right. Right? Now, look what the guy said. The impotent man answered him, Sir, I have no man when the water is troubled to put me into the water. But while I was coming, another step is down before me. Jesus said unto him, you know, he bypassed all that. Rise, take up that bed and walk. And immediately the man was made whole, took up his bed and walked on the same day was the Sabbath. The reason I put that part in there because if you keep reading, the Jewish people were upset because he healed the man on the Sabbath day. Right. And Jesus like Right, I remember that. Yeah, that that's like that that's irrelevant for our Jesus concernment. But mo the main thing we're looking at what the man responded and how Jesus responded. Jesus right. wasn't responding to his complaint. Jesus responded to get up and walk. Obviously, you're not asking. I guess you're telling me you want to walk, but you're telling me why you can't walk. I'm gonna tell you right. get up and walk. Amen? Right. Now, right. here's the one that I want to throw at you. And then we'll jump to the next one, all right? And if you want to, right. you just, this, this has no hard words in it. If you want to read it, I'll let you read it. <laughs> I'm following you. You can go ahead. <laughs> okay. Check, check, this, check this out, brother. This is 1 Corinthians 10 1. Moreover, brethren, this is talking to us now. I would right. not that ye be ignorant how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. You know, we're talking about the children of Israel. They trot you when you move across right. the Red Sea. And right. were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. And did all eat the same spiritual meat. And did all drink the same spiritual drink. For they drank of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that rock was Christ. One special note on that is when people sit there and try to say, upon this rock, I'll build my church. Both right. of them, they keep saying Peter, and, and they forgot Peter was a small rock, 
Jesus talking about the rock, which is Christ. Amen. Right. He okay. said, yeah. but when many of them, God, look at this out. This is the part we want to look at. But many of them, God was not well pleased. For they were overthrown in the wilderness, Al. Right. Now, these, now look at verse 6, though. Now, these things were examples to the intent that we should not lust after evil things as they lusted. Neither be ye idolaters as were some of them as is written, the people sat down to eat and drink and rose up to play. That's where that golden calf was when that happened. All right. right that's, yeah. Yeah. Now, look at this. Neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed fornication and fell in one right. day three and 20,000 children of Israel. Now, this is you. This is me. Verse 9. Neither let us tempt Christ as some of them also tempted and were destroyed of serpents. He was talking about those fiery serpents. Remember those ones that got bitten and they had to look up at the uh, a brass serpent? To be healed. Right. right. <laughs> so so he's telling you and me, neither let us tempt Christ, as some of them also tempted and were destroyed. And I wanted to put this on to you though. This is very important. When we read that, I want you to notice something. Christ is not Jesus' last name. You know that, right? We agree with that, right? Right. That's not his last name. Christ means the anointing. In this case, the anointed one, right? Right. And what he's saying is on the day of Pentecost, all of us were endued from that point with power on high. Just like Jesus was baptized, right? And he walked in the anointing. Right. When we got baptized right. or when we received Christ, we were baptized by the Holy Spirit. So when he said, let us neither let us tempt the anointing, as some of them tempted, unless we be destroyed. And look at this verse 10. Neither murmur ye <laughs> as some of them also murmured and were destroyed of the destroyer. In verse 11, now these things happen unto them for a example. And that and they are written for our admonition upon whom the end of the world are come. Wherefore, let him, let Al, let Ken Taylor, that thinketh he standeth, take heed, lest he fall. The scripture said in 13, there is no temptation taking you but which such is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you out, or can tell her, to be tempted above that you are able. Meaning, if the test comes, you can pass the test. Right. So instead of murmuring and complaining, we might need to realize that God said, oh, it's time to, it's time to pass, take the test. Let me get this bug, get this boss out of here. <laughs> this cycle coming to mind. I'll be right back one second. Where's he at? Sound like you're taking a test right now. <laughs> and, uh, and you saw, all I did say he got to go. That's all I tell him. I hope he left. <laughs> I hope he left. <laughs> that, that, that might be your new pet. He might need to keep around the house to kill the bugs and stuff. Well, we'll find out. If you see him flying around, you let me know. <laughs> hey, look, look, the test is don't stop. Hallelujah. Right. Hallelujah. Hey, don't stop. So, so look, he said, there is no temptation test or no temptation taking you what such as is common to man. Like that wall, right. and that's a common thing. And if, what you're supposed to do, be calm and let it go back out where it came from. 
<laughs> right. Don't go back out. It's called kill him. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but he said, who will not suffer you be tempted but that you're able? You know what scripture that reminds me of? The one that, that says in James chapter one, count it all joy when you fall into diverse temptations. I always right. talk about the fact is, why are you going to count it all joy? Because he's saying is, you could pass this test. Right. It's, it's, it's in front of you. It's an issue. It's in the wilderness, but you can pass this test. And that, that's just like when you take our physical fitness. As long as you know you can pass the test, you, you don't really have that much of a problem with it. Right. But you got you to gotta have participated in practicing prior to. Uh, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You, you, get, still have to you got to. You gonna have to prepare. It ain't gonna be all just natural. <laughs> no, you know that's why the Bible says, "Don't cease from praying." Right. right. Pray without ceasing. Right. Mm -hmm. The other scripture yes, says, in Joshua one eight says, "Meditate on His word day and night." See, if we're meditating on the day and night, now we can sit there and relate. Right. To the word. Amen. Right. All right. Amen. So therefore, huh? So he said, therefore, flee fornication. Uh, he said, wherefore, my beloved, flee idolatry. And to me, idolatry could be anything that we post higher than God. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Amen. All right. So All right. That, that was the foundation that we talked about last week. Now right. I'm going to take you to some meat here. That was me to sell, but but right. you, need, you need to see some more me, and <laughs> and 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 because uh, <laughs> I, I want to give you an example of something, and and this one is real good. We talked about it uh, last Sunday and Thursday. We do have a. I think I told you about the Thursday one we have, right? Yeah. Yeah. You told me about the Thursday one. Yeah. I saw the notification come out. Okay. That, that's where you get, if you ever want to join in on, I figure you, what, it's 5, 6.30 for you when we have it. It's 7, or oh, 7 o'clock, 6 o'clock for you, 7 for us. Right. Now, and so, so you might want to meet the guys and show them how wise you are. <laughs> what? I got to show them how wise <laughs> You know what? Huh? I ain't got but the... I ain't got but a third grade education. You know? Hey, you got <laughs> the Bible said you taught of the Lord, brother. You taught of the Lord. Amen. <laughs> you taught of the Lord. That's the key. All right. Now, now check right. this out. I'm gonna give you some meat for you go this for this uh for Sunday. Maybe you'll join us on uh Thursday. But check okay. this out. But definitely want to make sure you and I can do some fellowship, maybe get Bobby Russell. Or if you got somebody else sometime we can invite, you, you can invite your wife and we can talk. Because the way we're doing it is we go over the scriptures and we talk about them. Right. All right? So the all here's right. the one we did. So I, I brought, I did all that to bring you to this one. Right. Ready? <laughs> oh, yeah. I think you're going to like it. And, and look, if, if, if a shoe is flying and it hits you, don't worry about it. It, that's a good thing. All right? <laughs> all right. You, you try to say, what, what I'm saying? What do you think I'm saying? If, if it hits something, it's all right. That that, that means it meant right. to hit something. Check this out. This scripture right here. <laughs> uh, do you want to read that for me? Can you read that for me? <laughs> oh, let me see if I see this first. What do you oh, that's right. Lord. You can't see that good. That, okay. Uh, you got your computer. You got your phone. It ain't. I can't see that good. I can't see on this, on this little, uh, on this iPhone. I got. Okay, so, got you. You got your computer? No, I'm not. I'm not on the computer. I'm on the iPhone. Okay, so, I'll read. I'll read. That's why. I I'll do the reading. I don't, appreciate don't sit there and say I'm trying to talk all the time. That's all. I'm just trying to make sure everybody understands. I ain't trying to, try to, try to steal the attention or anything. Lord have mercy. <laughs> Lord, listen to him. Hey, look. 
check this out. This Go ahead. First, first Corinthians chapter 6, starting at verse 9. And it reads as this. Know ye not how, and I use that, that's called interjecting, you know, putting you, making it personal for you, you know what I mean? That the unrighteous uh -huh. shall not inherit the kingdom of God. I ain't talking about the kingdom of heaven. I'm talking about the kingdom of God in this world, in this life, in this time. Amen? Be not deceived. Okay. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters. That's the part of the idol. Idol worship, money, you name it. Sex, you name it. Nor adulterers, or feminine, uh -huh. nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Neither thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revelers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. But verse 11 now is the point. And such were some of you. <laughs> maybe you didn't catch that. We just read, the righteous shall not inherit. Right. right, the kingdom of God. In verse eleven, right. it said, "As such, were some of you." Right. And, and it might was said, "As such, were some of us." Right. As such, and some of the hope world people. <laughs> <laughs> right. As <laughs> such, was the people on this computer right now. <laughs> Oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> but look, but 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 you went to the the the, the in Mount Carmel in, in Hopewell, and I finally got saw the light back in twenty four April, Easter Sunday in in nineteen eighty four. He says right Easter. here, huh? That's when I got back. Easter. You got you went Easter, Easter Sunday. Sunday. That's the biggest day. Don't look back. Lord, that was a blessing, wasn't it? All those people get to see me proclaim Jesus Christ as Lord. And my dad got baptized with me. That was, mm. that, that was a blessing. That was a blessing. That's proclaiming that, that right. Jesus Christ is Lord on the Easter Sunday. I was, Easter I was, Sunday. Thankful, they, I was thankful they said they did on Easter Sunday. Hallelujah. <laughs> I do, I have never seen anybody to get baptized on the Easter Sunday. That was a bat. That was a Baptist church. So yeah, it was Baptist. Yeah, Harrison Girl Baptist Church. Yeah. Yeah. The, but I've never seen anybody get baptized Easter Sunday. Well, maybe you maybe, your, maybe, maybe that was the Lord just blessing me for that, you know? Because it was just a father. <laughs> and look, it was just a father and a son. Amen. Amen. So, Amen. so did you have on your Easter suit when you got baptized? I'm just well, messing you know, you with had, you. You had to wear your white clothes. That's you right. To, you had to wear white clothes. Yeah, That's right. Yeah. He said, uh, "This brother, this brother, not only coming to the Lord, but is bringing his father with him." Mm. Woo! Mm. Hallelujah! And hey, look, but the, the good thing you like about this verse eleven. The part I was, the title, my fact, let you know the title of this one today is called Murmuring, Complaining, and Such Were Some of You Against Him. And I think all of us can sit there and say, at one point or another, we complain against the Lord. Even when we right. even know the Lord, we complain against Him. But he said <clears throat> right here, Val, this is the good news though, but you are washed. But right. you are sanctified. But you are justified in the name right. of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. Hallelujah, brother. <laughs> See, right. the, when they said, No, you're right. not unrighteous, you're not inherit the kingdom. Yes, you are righteous, just like I was unrighteous. Because you couldn't, matter of fact, you still are righteous except through Jesus. The only way you are righteous is because of who? Jesus. Jesus. Ain't nothing you did. Ain't nothing you could right. have done that made you righteous. Mm -hmm. And what I like, that's the good news is, for we, for, for you are washed, but you are sanctified. Sanctified means set aside. 
but you are mm-hmm. justified. Al, Al Jones is justified in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And by the Spirit of God, right. meaning the Holy Spirit has Amen. sanctified you, set you aside. Mm-hmm. So that you can inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. Right. So that's Amen. a good news. That's a good news. That's a good news. You know, it just, and that's why it's so to humble yourself to the fact is, and such were out. When I go back that list again, right? Right. Up there, you fit in a category. But guess what? You ain't by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> That's the whole point. Either one of us can can right. exclude ourselves from one part of this list or another. And not one of us can sit there and say that we don't fall in temptation to give up, to go back to being drunker, to go back to right. being uh, uh, fornicate. Well, now, adulterers now, that's all we can be now. Adulterers. <laughs> you know, unless, unless you get divorced. Hallelujah. <laughs> But 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 the point is we 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 still not saying we have arrived. We just been justified. Right. Amen. Right.